evening and welcome once again to Gaming Under the Influence. I'm Mike here with Alex, coming to you guys from Green Dragon CVR in Woodbridge, Ontario, to talk to you about fucking video games. Fuck yeah. We have no uh, time getting into it, eh? Ooh, no time. Baby. No time dropping like, the F-bombs yeah. either. Yeah. All right, like we that's have, okay. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Feels like we've been gone for a while. We so have been. How are you, brother? Making a big comeback. I'm doing okay, man. Uh, how about you? I'm great. Great? I'm Fucking great. Fan. Happy to be back, too. Hell feels yeah. It's good to be here. Yeah, after a little hiatus, you know, it uh, feels good to get back into the podcast talking about video games. Absolutely. And, uh, it's been kind of a slow period, so it's not bad to, I guess, take a little break. We're going to take another little break after this. Yeah, we'll, to ruminate we'll on back, some more uh, abstract things. Yeah, we'll be back after a couple of weeks. But Oh, uh, yeah. Our, 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 yeah, we're, we're going to take a little break, a little family vacation, oh, we could yeah. say. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll return to you in a... About three if, weeks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would say that I'd uh, do something on my own in your absence, but it's impossible. That's okay. I'm this just useless. A, this I can't. A, nah, this is a two-part show. This the yeah. show doesn't go on without yeah. uh, either one it's of us. To be, be honest, I've, right. I've tried to sit here and, and talk while you've even just gone to the bathroom, and I'm like, I don't know what to say. Yeah. But when we're together, things I, happen. I try to talk on my own, and I sound like some kind of drunken Hitler. Fucking asshole. Rambler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We need each other. Yeah. It's the key components here. <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, as you said, though, it's been a bit of a dry spell, at least in terms of new releases, and I've used this time to fuck around with a bunch of different things. Uh, I think last we spoke on this, I was playing um, Going Medieval, which oh, I put yeah. down, which I put down. Yeah, a little I too love much, the eh? fucking core concept. I adore mm-hmm. it. I love the building. I love all that stuff, but the way they work in the uh, the, the raids, it just, it's, I'm yeah. not going to play that it's game. It's too much? Yeah. For me, games like that... The whole thing, the whole thing, bro, is the building project, right? Investing hundreds of hours over the course of months in constructing some ridiculous virtual some space. crazy shit, And if you're shit, telling me yeah. there's no way you can prevent it from just being destroyed every half hour in raids. Yeah, that's a little unfair. I'm not into that, yeah. yeah. You have to choose either between no raids or fucking this ridiculous, you know. Well, it makes sense. You, you put in the time and then you build whatever the shit, you know, all this crazy stuff and like... I guess this is too much to ask for that you don't want it fucked up every time. Like, to be I clear, though, the threat of that is great, but I'm yes. trying to say like there should be a gameplay mechanism whereby Where you, you work can, towards circumventing yeah. it. So you, you take one or yourself, two hits, right? but yeah. eventually, you know, you build the correct defenses and you're good, right? Right. Ideally, you know, like in Valheim, like in V Rising, so any kind of thing. This, like this game going medieval, you're saying there's almost no way From of what I've avoiding that. From what I've investigated, firstly, yeah. firstly, I'm still very early in the game, and I've already been beset by catapults, which cause ridiculous like splash damage they always really? go for your like main buildings they kill your very difficult to replace npcs like ah, your, your crew shit. they destroy the ground which you can't replace at all so what I, you know if they uh, fucking destroy the ground on top of your cellar you're just fucked so this is like a valheim or v <laughs> rising on like super hard mode eh? like yeah like with this raid super, shit yeah yeah so i don't know like the, the catapults are fucked already and then i watch later on the raids keep scaling until at some point you're getting hundreds of dudes invading your base hundreds. really and i just man i, I don't want to deal with that shit, yeah you know? it sounds like it's a little i want to have much. a little bit of threat like some reason to build the walls some reason to build to equip your guys but it should be a problem that you can meet Sounds like maybe it just right. needs a little tweaking and it's a little too, uh, like, unbalanced. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. This is going medieval right, for the yeah. PC, right? That's right, yeah. Okay. I was thinking about starting a peaceful mode playthrough, but then it just feels like, you know... Then it's too much in the other... It's like, what yeah, the fuck? then you, it's just like... Now uh, I don't have to build any swords. I don't need yeah. walls. Like It's just what? Like a Minecraft creative thing where you just, yeah, like, grass papering whatever the fuck yeah, you want. You could, that la, that la, would la, be cool. Right? Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah. There's a great pleasure to it, but always, like, the you know, a great thing about these survival games that I've enjoyed... The ones I played recently, like Valheim, like V Rising, like like Conan, even a little bit, mm-hmm. like Subnautica. You know, there's like uh, forays into danger, and there's danger that besets you. You can't just fucking yeah. You need to use the tools yeah. to properly <clears throat> fortify and defend, and yeah. and the obviously the, secure your, your there needs your to be area from, yeah, yeah some level of, of risk there where you know your yeah. shit can get fucked up, but not yeah. that it becomes obliterated and you have to rebuild it all because that's not fun. <laughs> even, even if honestly, if that possibility is there, fine, but there should be a tool the player has access to to circumvent it. When they, right. Okay. Even if it's at the end and they work towards it, I feel. But here, there's Fair. just no way to prevent even the best wall from, you know, being fucked up. And, and there's not even a way to, like, you know, in this game, you lay the blueprint and you have to wait for your little dudes to go and build it, right? There's no way to just make it so that the destroyed buildings revert to a mm. blueprint. Instead, mm. every time they fucking break some intricate wall you build, you have to go and re-detail the oh, fucking thing. Oh, God, yeah. You know? Yeah, it oh sounds like God. a little bit yeah, too, much just, to, to, too much to, like, It feels like, chew. man, I'm going to invest all this time in this and... yeah. 
I don't like that kind of shit. Grind. It's a grind. It's a grind. I mean, it, it is an is, early right? access game, so it who is, knows? Yeah. What Maybe kind they're of... going to balance it out, but yeah. I don't know. Like, it seems like they're leaning into that a lot, right? But it sounds like in general, you like the the yeah, concept. Yeah, yeah, it's an and, excellent and concept. They Very cool. Offer, the building yeah. system is so cool. Oh, unbelievably cool. Hmm. That's it's cool, so satisfying watching your guys run around, setting their schedules. Yeah. Oh man, it's fucking such a joy. I, I really I played a good forty hours of that in like a week. It's that's cool. It's, it's cool excellent. to see that kind of like experimentation in yeah. a space where you wouldn't see in like a AAA. Yeah. Obviously, this is like a very indie style yeah. game, right? There's Most another one. I haven't heard of it. I no, haven't no, definitely either. Not. It's some tiny thing. Yeah. Another game kind of like this. I think it's called S River Sticks. Something sticks. It's on Steam. I was looking into it yesterday. I think I mm. sent it uh, to you, Did you today when we were speaking. Oh, and uh, that yet? it's also made by one. It's made by one fucking guy. It's this empire simulator where you build huge kingdoms and you have politics and laws and ideology and it's. Something like this too. You build bases and structures, and right, right, right. Man, I'm, I really want to try this one out too. Maybe it would fill this yeah, niche hey, for me, and it, it would be shot, so right? tedious, right? Like, yeah, that's awesome. There's another one called Sapiens that I heard of. That's really cool, man. It looks so sick. Yeah, there's like a tribe of people from like prehistoric times. To oh, like, really? Yeah, it's the survival genre. I mean, right now it's ripe in the indie space, right? There's a lot of. Yeah. People sort of working on it until yeah. uh, Blizzard comes and fucks it up with their shit yeah, fucking game that they're, that they're fucking making. But yeah. <laughs> the glory of the survival genre, it's fucking pure, man. It's so yeah. pure. You know, That's you jump thing. in one you know, of these games, it's so pure. Like, yeah. You know, they're not cinematic most of the time. And mm -hmm. I really like, I don't think a fucking story-based survival game would be a good fucking game. <clears throat> yeah, Nightingale seems... Nightingale looks it good to us. It's supposed to be story-based, right? Right, but it seems like more of that in-between where it's mm. not quite fucky, like, AAA. Like, we know Blizzard's survival game is going to be dog shit, and there'll probably be all kinds of shit yeah. wrong with that. But Nightingale still seems like... Maybe like a double-A, like, where it's it's still... Um, yeah, we'll see what that's like. True. good, right? Like high quality, you know, production value and shit, but not like yeah. a total fucking shit fest. Like whatever yeah, I wonder Blizzard who's that. I wonder up. Yeah, uh, we should probably look that up. We should. In we our should. Spare time. But uh, it will be interesting, anyways, to see if they can successfully incorporate a story into these yeah. kinds of games. Because to me, like these are pure like systems based games, right? Like I don't oh, yeah, post sure. fucking uh, narrative games. I don't post cinematic games either. It's just to me like the fucking. You know, we've talked about before how this idea of Ludo narrative dissonance is kind of stupid because in games, like, the Ludo part is supposed to be an expression of the narrative part. But right. I think, like, it is possible to have something like this if you fucking try on the one hand to lean into the systems and on the other hand to lean into the fucking uh, anthropocentric storytelling, right? Right, right. It just doesn't square well. Like, you get this Red Dead 2 style mess. And the more I think about it, man, that game is, like, the fucking perfect example of the disaster that comes from fucking... Which game? Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2, okay. Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. of those chode-ass journalists were kind of right about that. You know? I mean, yeah, I fucking... They kind of were. I, like I that. love Red Dead 2, <laughs> but holy my... God, it, playing it is like a fucking chore I love sometimes. it too, but like Jesus. that's... It, 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 is, it, is, it is the huh. fucking most disastrous marriage conceivable between A, a fucking systemically designed fucking open world that, you know, the point is for you to engage with it in yeah. its own terms, and on the other hand, a fucking cinematic story right yeah like, these almost, parts fucking perfectly clash and yeah it, it's another, like right? too much of an experiment in world building like yeah you created the most believable world maybe in video games ever but like eh, you kind of get lost on the point there because it's like you know what are we going for here the narrative which is fantastic but then you're fucking brushing yeah. your horse like holy cow that's man. right like, exactly, Jesus, that. Exactly, that. exactly that exactly you that exactly you know that, like clean oiling your guns okay like a little bit of that stuff is okay but they just took it way too much. like but, look at red dead one it has it, like all the good elements without some of the annoying elements it has it has the narrative game. and it has the open world to accommodate right. the narrative but the open world's not some fucking obese baggage that gets in the way of the shit you yeah. know what i mean uh, man FromSoft games tell the fucking story with those kinds of mechanics. You know, mm -hmm. they don't have cutscenes. No. They don't have on rails missions for you to go through. Yeah. They use that shit, like the horse brushing or whatever the fuck version of it is in From Game, to tell the, the same point. story yeah. that Red Dead tells with cinematics. Yeah. So when you got the fucking cinematics, you can't have this shit. You don't too. need the, yeah, exactly. It's at war with the cinematics. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're, you're right. Like, what the fuck am I playing? This Franken game, bro. Yeah, you're I don't do that, right. right? Yeah, that's why Red Dead's like super mixed with me. I think it's yeah. one of the greatest video games ever created, but it does have a major clash where I think they went a little too far and they kind of got too excited of what honestly, they were I think doing. so too. And honestly, it's, though, it's weird, man. I, I, this is going to sound kind of radical, but uh, the more I think about it, like so many games, even ones that I love, like the more I think about it, man, like 
to feel like a chore. I love the fucking game in spite of the fact that I have to play it half the time. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you like, just want to like... Like, parts are just fucking junk. Yeah, you want to like... the fuck Almost is that? like drip fed into you because the ideas are so good, but like the execution is just like... You're just like, they have this ugh. great idea, but then they're like, okay, you're going to play this thing where you're going to just do some nonsense shit. Yeah. Like a mini game fucking just junk. You know, just junk, right? I almost hate, I like to, hate to bring it up, but I feel like for you, maybe Breath of the Wild is that because the world oh, yeah. is so incredible. And That's like, right. Just having the shrines there, and like I like it. I love Breath of the Wild. Don't get me it wrong, is, but it is that the shrines are maybe not the best way to approach but you know unraveling the world. Red Dead is Red Dead's worse. One hundred percent, Red is worse. I love the fucking shit of Breath of the Wild. Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. just these kinds of games. Yeah. Right? Just, I mean, even Ghost of Tsushima, I think was better in yeah. that sense than Red Dead. But yeah, they all apply. And, and you know what the startling thing is, fucking. I think Death Stranding was almost a fucking perfect game. And yeah. it was both of these things in a way, right? Yeah. But it was more focused. You know, there was it less. Was. It was one dimensional, like yeah. perfectly one dimensional. And yeah. people hated it for that. But at the same time, like if you look at it from a fucking. That's why it's a masterpiece. That's yeah. why it's one of the best games ever. Yeah. Made. It actually enough. is, you know, very fair. And actually, interestingly enough, you know, we wanted to talk about a couple of different things today. One of those things was that uh, there's going to be a cyber, a, a Cyberpunk 2077 story DLC. And I'm stoked for that because I fucking love Cyberpunk 2077. Yep. But if I had one thing to fucking say about it, it's that it too suffers exactly from this problem. It's game bits yeah. are at war with its fucking... If that game was a walking simulator, it would be the best game ever. Bro. Yeah, maybe even Why like... Why the fuck are you making me play this? Maybe even not necessarily like... I mean, obviously you're going to the extreme of it being a walking simulator. But it just felt like some of the, the combat... Was just like very rinse repeat. Like you just, did, it didn't fit the, the, the narrative, and the, it didn't it could service be the combat the game. from any yeah. game, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? like, Maybe if they toned down a bit on it, actually, it was a little man, bit different. A walking yeah. simulator. Why do I need even to do combat? True. Yeah. Why? Uh, True. Maybe if there is combat, it should be possible, but not necessary, like in other great RPGs, right? Yeah, that's fair too. And if yeah. you fucking fight somebody, it should be like engaging in a conversation. It shouldn't be like that they build like you know, it's too it's too much like a commercial game stream. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Like it needs to have sure. a combat system. It needs to have some levels. It needs to fuck off. Well, man. in that it sense, then it's that. almost like like yeah, it's a AAA game. It has to have combat. Well, like it doesn't really serve the purpose, but you gotta throw it in because what if they made a walking simulator? With a sick cyberpunk story, all you did was like, drive and go to kind of like a Death Stranding style. Literally, you get less gameplay. Just no oh, fuck. All you <laughs> walk around like a fucking Quantic Dream game, bro. Like, like a Quantic Dream yeah. game. Yeah, fair enough. What? Imagine that game. Yeah. Quantic Dream games are good, but the yeah, writing sure. is fucking just give me a fucking break. It's nowhere near as good as the the world building, the writing. It's nowhere near as good as cyberpunk. You know, and same goes for fucking super massive games. Like I like those games, but the writing is. Imagine cyberpunk, how great the world was, how great the writing is, except oh. you had that mode of delivering that story yeah. where you didn't have to get bogged down in fucking street cred and fucking just... For, for as much as we loved cyberpunk, I think we were more enamored by that <coughs> book that came out about a month or two before the game came out. The the big yeah. hardcover book. The world building, yeah. The world, the night city, the outskirts, the the yeah. fucking people, the, the, the gangs, the fucking yeah. everything. Yeah. And when, when I went everything. in, you understand it oh. so Oh my Ollie. fuck, we read the shit out of that book. Yeah. We like absorbed it. We were like, this is fantastic. And then you get the game, and it's like, yeah, it's a commercial product. It's like, uh, you know, there's a lot of combat, blah, 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 blah. And it was a it, Man, great the, game still, the story but... parts were, ex they were yeah. that book. Like, it was all, like, all of the actual yeah. shit going on in that world was amazing. Yeah. It was oh, yeah. cool even walking around, like, seeing stuff. Oh, for stuff. sure. I just, like, you get in a fight. The combat's not bad. It was good combat. Yeah, no, I it worked it. well. Actually, like, it was fine. I, it's just taking away from the yeah, good parts it feels of that like game, man. brushing your horse and oiling your exactly. gun it's just what kind of a means to give you some entertainment and something to fail at or some but shit to use it's, the it's, weapon it's funny blah, because blah, blah, blah. like it's it's just it's as though they were like okay let's think of some rudimentary shit that somebody would be doing in this world and put a button press on top of it yeah why yeah Fucking why, bro? Yeah. Imagine why? it was like Disco Elysium. You'd probably like it even more. Oh, man. That's exactly what I was <laughs> yeah, kidding I know. me. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but those guys, that's what I'm saying, man. Lean into what you're due. You, yeah. The strength of the game. It's same with the fucking, the, the what's it, what's his name? Dan and fucking the Housers. Yeah, yeah. Sam and, uh, and Dan Hauser, I believe, Lean from into Rockstar. Your strengths, bro. Yep. Those games are fucking amazing for what they are. Yeah. Then you got to do this other shit. It's just, oh, mm. God. Uh, I don't yeah. want to do it. I and that's part of the reason I think we've unraveled that why we don't like open world games so much. Yeah. Because if you have a good idea, if you have a cyberpunk with a night city and fantastic lore, and then you sort of bog it down with a bunch of shit, similar to Red Dead or you know, yeah. maybe even GTA 5 or whatever else, yeah. 
it loses some of that allure, right? Oh, then you're, you're focused on, on, on the gameplay and not like the actual world building and stuff, yeah. right? It's, it becomes a different thing entirely. You could. Uh, it, exactly. And you could have a game that communicates that quality of world building with gameplay mechanics, you know? Yeah, we talk about suited, games yeah. that do this all the time, but oh, yeah. this is not one of those games. Fine. It doesn't have to be, but don't at the same time rely on these same mechanics that a game like that would, right? Right. Because then you're getting in the way of your own shit. Yeah. But at some level, don't you think, like, it's easy for us to sit here and talk about these things? Yeah, for sure. But, you know, and it would be easy for one man designing his own game to fucking implement such ideas, too. Mm -hmm. But imagine fucking business-style game design, bro. There's an office building full of people. You think they have the fucking... the the. They gotta keep you, Never mind. You think they have a luxury to sit here and talk about these philosophic points yeah. and how art should be made and on yeah, top of right. that? You think even if they knew they could implement it? You know? Yeah, and make, make a product. And, In a and fucking keep modern the, office where yeah. you gotta pay people according to labor code, some HR fucking yeah. assholes watching you all day? Come on, man. You can't you gotta do keep everybody's here. hands on deck, right? Yeah, you gotta keep everybody just, busy. It's, it's, it's a losing gotta, equation yeah. from the beginning. It's just fucking not good, right? That's why AAA has been waning for us. Yeah. Like a lot more we've been doing videos and talking about this yeah. stuff is it, we've come to the conclusion that the triple a space has is becoming more and more like a a marvel disney netflix Fucking style boardroom content. hr game design yeah just push out content just for the sake of absorption and not because somebody has a good idea and something they want to express right yeah which How would be like death stranding on the flip side right what you know i'm gonna fucking put forth that maybe it'll be a controversial way to say it we can cut it if if, if we need to, but... Fair enough. The Japanese, you know, despite the fucking influence of capitalism, seem fucking capable of producing they, they decent games. Why? It. Why yeah. is it? I think it's because their game design culture is still fucking relatively what you could probably call in a true sense fascistic, you know? There's a fucking guy in charge. That's the fucking way it goes, Yeah, man. All that the ideas says, go through him. You leave yeah. work when he leaves work. Yep. He goes drinking that night. You fucking you go, go too. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're going to yeah. sleep under your desk to make a good game? Too fucking yeah. bad. That's what oh, he says. You don't have work-life uh, balance? Yeah. Your mental health is suffering? You know what I mean? Shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. You know? That's why the games come out good because your stupid life doesn't matter to making art, bro. That's 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 the true. Way it I think goes. I I'm think sorry. at the end of the day, it really comes down to the the guy with the the, the idea and the fucking the the sort of you know he he needs to prove everything. He he like it's his vision, right? Oh, I if, think if you have an idea and you want to bring it up to him, it's up to him whether or not it fits. Absolutely, because he has the grand there, vision. There, right? He's over. He's like the, there the needs god, to be this, the creator, of right? I, I think Western games don't have this. They but don't. Also, what they don't have is even if they had this. They just don't have the fucking license to impose their vision right. on things. Yeah, you know. It's yeah, because there's always way. there's always you know uh, investors here, gotta, the yeah, publisher yeah. there, HR this here. Says, yeah, fucking like in my, my <laughs> yeah. Just Even just stupid. recently, like I was saying about God of War. Like, okay, so we're not big fans of the new God no. of War, but no. Corey Barlog no. directed that one, and now they the and sequel. And it succeeded. What are you doing? And it succeeded, and the sequel is being directed by some other dude. Like, why, why are we handing this off to what are somebody you doing? again? And we're not big fans. Like, we don't care to see another Corey Barlog God. No, of War. I hope he but, never makes another game as long as he lives. Right, but but. It was, you know, his but he game. Made a good game. Yeah, I mean, at a least successful one. A successful yeah, one. There you go. That. Yeah. So yeah. why is he not handling the next one? Like, and, and this goes to you know, even like Halo Infinite being go going through three or four fucking directors over the course of development. We've seen what happens there. Like, there's no grand vision. There's no creator. There's no god overlooking everything, saying this is what I want yeah. for it. Like, it becomes fucking diluted and shitty we've said like yeah, i'm not I making this so. up this is no no truth. <laughs> I, I think it's a different way of looking at the relationship of the creator to the thing made right like to the yeah. westerner like there's no fucking sense of like this form matter relationship it's just like mm -hmm. this fucking lump of shit outside the mind yeah and everybody comes along with their pickaxe and they're like hula, hula, until yeah it's done, yeah you know? uh, let me everybody, add this let everybody's add as that. good as anybody Hold else the yeah. thing is just some indeterminate lump of fucking crap it doesn't have any relationship to you or me whereas exactly. It's like the when classical. you're a kid and you mix all the fucking drinks yeah, in a sure. cup and you Why can't the other guy throw put some ketchup, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Like, the classical conception of art is that the fucking thing outside the mind is like 
a fucking it for like the same way that 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 your fucking hands are related to your head like that your soul is related to your body the artistic work in its fucking material expression outside the mind has a fucking integral relationship with the idea in the mind of the artist yeah it's not a separate thing it's yeah. literally moved by the idea in the guy's fucking mind mm -hmm. all of its fucking meaning and value comes from its unity with that fucking concept yep. it is yep. not yep. possible to just hand it off to somebody else it's an irreducibly individual thing in the mind of the creator yeah you can sell the fucking superficial branding and the, the that's like me giving yeah. you my t-shirt slap you your name on it yeah my fucking shirt yeah that's it doesn't make any sense you're I'm, selling the accidents bro and the other thing is not transmissible and insofar as they don't understand this fucking relationship and it's intransmissibility i think mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. the same time why would you fucking keep cory on it you know why for them they're probably go oh, let's spice it up let's uh you know yesterday i had pepperoni pizza today yeah, i had let's surface try sauce. fucking let's... hawaiian <laughs> ah. yeah. it, no, more, more fucking... the most notable thing and i don't even want to get into it, but i am going to bring it up is like the rings of power right now that's yeah. a whole i kind of want to get into that fucking uh, we're think... going to run out of fucking persona yeah, footage I, th <laughs> I think we'll we'll save that for another one for i think sure. the, the point is already made the but yeah exactly exactly yeah like yeah, we would just be delving into the specifics which i don't even know if i want to do that but yeah i would do we even need to we already yeah. said it that's yeah. it the fucking yeah. artistic creature is not transmissible between minds yeah that's it it's gross you know it's just gross yeah it's not a prostitute that you can just pass off to another man to love it's, yeah yeah sorry that's a good way of putting it. it doesn't work that way like again it's an irreducibly the artistic fucking concept bro it's not like a mathematical fucking concept or a philosophic concept which yeah is an there's abstraction. no hard numbers yeah oh, it, it's it's perhaps it's rather that it is hard and the numbers are not right the numbers are universal oh, yeah. yeah like true the numbers apply yesterday today just like my philosophic concept of being it applies in all spaces and times to mm -hmm, every kind mm -hmm. of thing but the artistic thing like you you're individual i'm individual yep you know what i mean i can't be fucking replicated in a universal concept according to my essence right right the, neither can you you can never become me even though both of us can have ideas of universal things right yeah in the same way the artistic creature like it's a fucking individual thing it's not a universal it's it doesn't it doesn't move between instances you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. that's what makes it fucking a, a work of art a, a thing that we can look at with our eyes and yeah. hear with our ears right it's not an abstraction and if this is the case how do you fucking it I'm, I'm saying it's literally in the universe a metaphysical impossibility you can't duplicate an individual you can't right. give it away it's itself that's it you know and this being the case like we fucking I, crazy perhaps it fucking you know as a culture we have this idea of intellectual property you know yeah like there's this definitely thing I can sell you definitely. my idea like yeah it doesn't work that way though i guess. No. You know it's a misunderstanding of ideas and how fucking art works i guess and that's where things become brand names yeah. and you're selling the name and yeah. the, the you know the, the I think accidents this, like you say the, this, the, that's right the right? superficialities and yeah. this this suffices for commenting on fucking rings of power as oh, much yeah, as halo sure. as much as anything else you know yeah. Yeah. microsoft not making halo amazon's not Ugh. making lord of the rings whatever the fuck they tell you it's as like if I fucking wear your shirt, am I you? And I start telling people, hey, man, I'm Alex. <laughs> yeah, I'm Alex. I, I, it's like I the have car, of, I have a shirt. Uh, it's like in the office, the gym, Asian gym. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. hilarious. Yeah, that's exactly right. So putting feathers up your butt, Tyler Durden said, does not make you a chicken. Yep. Here we are. So, yeah, uh, you know, we uh, intended to talk about cyberpunk and uh, the yeah, DLC. I like where this went, though. Yeah, this 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 went in some interesting. To be fair, directions. I didn't even know there was a single player DLC, so I'll look into that and maybe we'll bring it up in the next one and yeah. and delve further into what we've been playing. From what I understand, just in brief, it takes place before the end of the game because V and Johnny are both still involved, and I'm huh. pretty sure at the end of the game, V and Johnny, one of them's dead, right? Uh, yeah, it seems that way, depending on which endings you get. But yeah, one of them goes for sure. Yeah, yeah. So. It takes That'll place be a little cool bit before to, that. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck. Maybe we'll get into it and talk about it next time because we'll be gone for a couple of weeks. So yeah, we'll be gone for a couple of weeks. Uh, hope this is enough to tide you fine people over until then. And uh, you're welcome to stop by the bar, contact us on Discord, play on our Valheim server if you'd like to fucking keep in touch in the meantime. Oh yeah. We love you. Thank you for listening and take care of yourselves. Fuck yeah.